so, so far those uh, who do not know or not familiar uh, with this approach, it is here question on a uh, well-known polytopic approach, which can be obtained by by the decomposition by the decomposition of the operating domain, like we see here, by the operating domain of the nonlinear system into linear subdomain, and each domain is considered linear. And then the global the global uh, nonlinear behavior is obtained by convex uh, interpolation or uh, optimization is depending on the information we have if you have only uh, in, uh, data input output data we can opt uh, can obtain this representation uh, by uh, by using some algorithm of optimization but if you have non linear model this approach can be obtained directly by mathematical uh, transform transformation as uh, discussed just before uh, with uh, Dr. Yuri, I, uh, if uh, any uh, if any difficulty to understand the, this uh, this approach, I can uh, maybe uh, in future give uh, another lecture only on how to obtain this approach from nonlinear system and to to obtain some uh, some uh, uh, some uh, to how to develop some simple algorithm to obtain observer or control like. Uh, 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 static feedback, uh, state feedback controller, or lean variable observer, for example. So, if any difficulty about that, we can uh, discuss about that uh, at the end of this presentation or in uh, the, the future. So, I, I, as I said uh, before, uh, the, the, the nonlinear behavior is obtained by the interpolation of of linear of linear model, like here we have different linear model. And by uh, by the optimization of the DES function mu, called the activation function, we approximate the nonlinear system. So when we have only input output data, the obtained TS or LPV system is an approximation. But when we have nonlinear model, uh, mathematical uh, equation, the transformation is exact. It's obtained without any approximation. Okay. So it is the, the advantage of uh, this, uh, this method. So the question is why this decomposition? Why? Why, uh, why uh, we uh, try to transform the nonlinear system, because we have the nonlinear model, to this approach, to this polytopic approach? Uh, simply, the goal is to use uh, numerical tools of uh, the convex optimization such as LMI uh, toolbox uh, under uh, MATLAB, for example, or your MIP, uh, which is uh, a free uh, software that you can find uh, in the internet. So to use the LMI formulation, the, the constraint is uh, to, uh, to, to obtain this uh, convex uh, or this polytypical representation where the, 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 the function, the function mu, obey to the, to the convexity, the, the, the property of convexity. It means that the sum of this function is equal to one, and all this function as this uh, nonlinear function mu are positive. So it is the constraint. So the number of uh, of uh, the, the the linear model n depend on the complexity of the origin, the nonlinear system, the origin of nonlinear system, and also of the approximation, uh, the approximation of the TS uh, system or the LPD system. So we, we can discuss about that in the future if you want, and uh, I can give you more details about uh, about that. So uh, the the this uh, this 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 uh, this uh, this approach has been extended in uh, in recent uh, in recent uh, decade to the polynomial TS uh, to the polynomial TS model. Well, you can see that here, the linear model is not the, the linear model uh, obtained before, is replaced here by uh, all nonlinear uh, matrices A, B, C, where the A matrix A, B, C here is dependent on X in polynomial form. Okay? And in this case, we can't use the LMI, for LMI toolbox, but we need to use SOS tool. SOS, it means sum of square. So it is also auto books under MATLAB that you can use. So under MATLAB you can you can use LMI formulation, linear matrix inequality tools, toolbox, 
or SOS, some of Square Toolbooks, when we have Polynomial uh, systems. So this uh, uh, this uh, this uh, the approach uh, the, the approach uh, using uh, Polynomial uh, TS model uh, leads obviously to less conservative uh, conservative conservative results in terms of uh, design program, and then we can uh, have more. Uh, more facility uh, to find some controller and some observer for nonlinear uh, non system. This part will be not studied, will not presented in this uh, presentation because uh, we haven't time, but uh, in future we can discuss about uh, that. Uh, and uh, to, sh to show the difference and to, and to improvement and to introduce by polynomial TS system. But polynomial TS system can be, uh, can be, uh, can be seen as uh, or generalization of classical TS system because this approach for a TS system contain the classical TS uh, system. Uh, some uh, basic idea can be found in uh, these two uh, two uh, two references uh, of uh, Lotvizade or for Takeji Sukino Takeji and Sukino uh, uh, research. Uh, this approach can include, as uh, I said before, can uh, can include can include the APV approach, as you can see here, because this uh, when uh, when the parameter uh, the, 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 the 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 variable of decision depending on the activation function uh, here, uh, this uh, when this parameter can is uh, is the parameter. In this case, this approach can uh, can represent the APV system. Can uh, this represent can also represent non classical non linear system when the, this parameter is depending on the state of the system? In this case, the, this representation is a non linear system and can also uh, represent the uh, switching, uh, switching system uh, when the interpolation function here is take one or zero. When this function commits between zero or one, this approach can uh, can contain can contain or can uh, represent the switching the switching uh, system. And the goal of this approaches or this approach is to use numerical tools of uh, the convex optimization such as LMI toolbox, as I said before. Indeed, many control problems are formulated in LMI design condition or uh, SOS uh, design condition if uh, we consider a polynomial uh, approach. But general, generally, generally, uh, the, the obtained LMI conditions are easy to solve using an animated tool, and it is the objective, because the objective is to obtain LMI uh, linear matrix inequality condition. Uh, if not, we can't use existing numerical tools. And the aim of, uh, of researcher in this domain is to reduce the conservatism of the obtained algorithm. Uh, since the, all these developed results are sufficient only. And uh, the researcher working on the theoretical parts uh, and theoretical developments, uh, the, our researcher try to find uh, more interesting results, less conservative, and uh, easy to implement. And easy to implement, it means that it is in this condition must be in linear form. and. Uh, uh, by introducing also uh, some uh, ex uh, some uh, some uh, external variable to reduce the conservatism. Uh, you can find uh, some uh, basic results, for example, in this uh, in this uh, in this book. Uh, particularly, uh, this book can be interesting, particularly for a young researcher or engineering engineers interested by uh, by this approach you can find some example uh, basic example uh, from nonlinear to uh, ts uh, model and how to design some observer and some uh, uh, some uh, classical um, classical uh, controller and um, uh, we Within, within this uh, this uh, the, uh, within the framework of uh, this approach, the goal is in general is to develop uh, algorithm for fault detection and isolation, and also fault tolerance control strategy in order to to maintain or allowing uh, systems 
to continue operating properly in presence of fault, uh, update of fault, all sorts of fault, and then avoid dangerous uh, situation, like, uh, in, for example, in vehicle uh, domain. For no reason, for, uh, for, uh, by using a non-linear approach, because the idea is to use non-linear approach. In my group, for example, as I discussed before, just before with uh, Dr. Yurin, uh, in my group, this approach has been extensively used in vehicle domain uh, for driver assistance, the control of vehicle dynamic, and in collaboration with uh, some, uh, some uh, local uh, industry. Uh, this slide, for example, it's not to give you the objective, it's not to give you more uh, detail about the, the mathematical development, but to give you the, the, the idea. This slide presents an example of how to generate fault tolerance algorithms in the presence of uh, uncertainties, for example, and or uh, also uh, delay, saturation, disturbances. Uh, 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 and in, in with with with, with in nonlinear uh, for complex nonlinear systems, in in the field uh, of uh, FTC for tolerance control, uh, we know that there is uh, there are many strategies. Uh, the most classical uh, one is that based on uh, uh, on back bank of uh, of server in order to locate to to to, to locate faults. Uh, the, the less obvious methods are those based on the estimation of fault. That will be the objective of uh, the, the next uh, slide, is how to estimate uh, fault. Because in this case, uh, if we estimate fault, we can locate it and we can develop some strategy for fault diagnosis and for fault tolerance control. But generally, the, the, the estimation of fault are more complicated from methodological uh, point of view. It is why generally we, we use the classical one based on bank of observer. Another FTC uh, approach, uh, this one, for this, uh, this one, this, uh, this uh, method here represented in this slide, is based on a reference model, as you can see here. You, we have a reference model uh, based on reference model that's uh, also uh, uh, and this approach here uh, is based on a reference model that can be used, for example, for uh, for uh, tracking uh, trajectory. Okay. And uh, the, the, this approach is very interesting because it can be used, as I said, in trajectory uh, uh, tracking, which can be used, for example, in application. Uh, uh, applications such uh, as uh, autonomous vehicle, for example. The challenge in this uh, in this case is to design. The challenge here is to design a nonlinear observer and nonlinear controller, both simultaneously, in LMI formulation, which is not easy because the objective is to obtain linear matrix inequality in linear form, and this is the challenge. Uh, note that uh, these uh, results are also sufficient because we are in a nonlinear framework, and we haven't uh, we haven't uh, some we haven't uh, um, uh, necessary sufficient condition. We have only sufficient condition. So the objective is to improve uh, the, the, the this condition as we can find in, in the literature. You can find many results or a way to, uh, to improve and to reduce the conservative of the, the different uh, results. So the, uh, the objective of many research is how to improve and to release some, uh, the conservation of, of the, 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 the design condition. Uh, some uh, basic, uh, this, uh, or this, uh, this, uh, this strategy, uh, the development of the study can be found, uh, can be found, for example, in this uh, in this uh, reference uh, published in Asian Journal of Control uh, recently. So now I I give you some uh, some uh, technical uh, technical developments uh, for one uh, one um, uh, for 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 one uh, yeah, for one example. Uh, the idea here is not to 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 
give you lots of uh, theoretical uh, developments. But the idea is to give you the, the idea, the, the philosophy of the method, and then uh, if you need to uh, to learn more about, you can uh, you can send you some references, or you can read the book that uh, I introduced before, or I can give you more maybe another lecture about uh, about this uh, this uh, this approach. So now, how we can design observer for TS system subject to unknown input? For example, here we consider that we have nonlinear system. And after transformation into TS system like this, we uh, obtain, he, he, uh, excuse me, here you need a bracket, it's, it's uh, the sum of mu and uh, between brackets here, it's the, the, uh, the interpolation of this linear system. So ABC is the, 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 the state, uh, state uh, mat matri matris, state matrices here. Bi is the input matrices and C is the output matri ma matrix. And U bar here is the unknown input. The unknown input here, unknown input can be, for example, the, the fault, uh, actuator fault here, or here on the output can be the sensor fault. So the objective is how to design an observer allowing us to, in to estimate the state of the system, of nonlinear system in this, uh, in this formulation despite the presence of the unknown input. And this uh, observer is called unknown input uh, observer, is, uh, is extensively used for, uh, for diagnosis strategy because it's just, this, this type of observer can estimate the states and in some, uh, in some, um, uh, for, with, uh, with, uh, with uh, other uh, structure, we can also estimate the fault, U bar. We can estimate both and simultaneously the state and the input, which can be the, for example, the, the, the fault actuator or the, the, the actuator fault or the sensor fault. Okay. So in the case of the S system, with the presence of a known input, observer of this uh, structure has been extensively used with different uh, Lyapunov function. Here I give you some uh, basic results using quadratic Lyapunov function because it is uh, simple to, to obtain. But uh, we can find recent re results uh, using uh, fuzzy Lyapunov function where the design conditions are more interesting uh, and are less conservative. When I say less conservative, it means that um, with this, we, we can find uh, easily an example where you were the, the where, when you, you we use classical method, you can't find the solution, we can't uh, solve uh, the problem, we can't design uh, the control or the observer. But with recent results, with uh, for example, fuzzy the open function, we can't obtain a solution. It is uh, it is uh, the, the meaning of uh, less conservative results. And the goal, as you can see here, the, 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 the unknown input observer is given by this structure when the aim is to, to calculate uh, these gains, Ni, Gi, Li, and E, uh, such that the error of estimation converges to a certain degree to zero. This is the objective. And the objective is to find linear, uh, li linear, linear design condition. Because the objective is to use linear uh, uh, numerical tools, such as LMI, Toolbox, and under, under, uh, MATLAB. Okay, so here I give you, for example, an example. The development is not given here, the development, uh, but the development can be used easily using the quadratic Lyapunov function, like x transpose px, where p is a symmetric and a definite positive matrix. And uh, by time derivative of the Lyapunov function, we, uh, and after some uh, mathematical manipulation to linearize this condition, we obtain the following condition. And you can see here that the design condition is, uh, the, 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 this, the design condition are in linear form because the variable here are x, uh, y, and s. And we have here n LMI condition with there's two equalities, and there's two equalities are also in linear form because F is the, is, uh, is the known matrix, 
and S, S is the ovarian, and here also is in, in linear form. So uh, we, here we, ha we have linear condition, LMI condition plus uh, plus uh, e e e two, two, uh, two linear equalities. And by solving this condition, if uh, for, uh, for, uh, for a given uh, application or uh, example, if a solution, if the, 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 the condition, uh, this condition are feasible, we can obtain directly the gain of the observer, E, G, I, N, I, and L, I directly based on this relation. It is why it is very, this condition, this, uh, this formulation or this approach is very interesting, uh, very interesting for, uh, for nonlinear system because we can obtain uh, algorithms easily, uh, easily uh, solved using numerical tools. Uh, with this condition, it is easy also to introduce uh, performance criteria. It is easy to introduce performance criteria by uh, poor uh, placements using LMI regions. Uh, this, uh, this path is not uh, presented uh, here, but you can find uh, in many public published uh, references uh, some, uh, some uh, example about, uh, about that. And also in the books, or in the references that I, uh, I cited uh, before. Some extensions uh, are also studied in the literature, like uh, the challenging problem of, of uh, when the activation or the interpolation function depend on unmeasurable variance, because when uh, for non system this function can depend on non measurable variable or uh, in the case of uh, of uh, fault, in the presence of fault, their their variable here can be non measurable and the problem will be different. And uh, in this case, we need to to, um, to 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 propose other developments. The developments are generally more complicated, but uh, we have uh, some results about uh, about that. And uh, you can find it in the literature. Also, uh, some extension are also studied in the case of polynomial systems. You can find some results about that also. And of also including, for example, here the unknown input u bar and also disturbances. So we can find uh, some results about how to design observer or unknown input observer, like the last one, for this different uh, situation. For the case where uh, the, the decision variables are immeasurable or inevitable, or also for polynomial TS system, uh, where, uh, the, where the matrices A, B, C are not constant, but depending on X in polynomial form. And this, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this part is not uh, developed in this, uh, in this presentation. Some uh, other approaches also we can, uh, we can because here I give you some uh, some references in the literature and the, 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 some uh, maybe open uh, problem and uh, some uh, different direction that uh, if you that you you can find in uh, in the literature for example in the field of uh, of server uh, synthesis the problem for estimating the state and in known input and the various constraints and objective remains uh, fairly open. Uh, for instance, by considering the uncertainties and uh, especially the uncertainties on the measurements, which is very difficult problem like that, when we have the, some uncertainties on the output, which is a very uh, some, uh, difficult, challenging problem, but you can find also some, uh, some results in the, in the literature. Um, uh, and also uh, the case where the, 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 the where the, the, the variables are non measurable as uh, we discussed it before. Uh, the the end in all these cases is the simultaneous estimation of the union input and the state uh, with with the with the least. Uh, possible of conservation because the objective is 
as I said before, the, obje is, the objective is to obtain less conservative result and, if possible, in LMI formulation. Because uh, if not, we can't uh, use, uh, you, can't, you can't use LMI uh, uh, numerical tools. Okay? And in order to reduce the conservatism of uh, certain uh, some results, one of uh, the way is uh, to to use the Lyapunov function uh, to 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 change the Lyapunov function. Uh, so instead to use quadratic Lyapunov function uh, involving uh, common Lyapunov uh, uh, common Lyapunov matrix P, we replace P by a different PI. So uh, we can use, uh, for example, when you can find some result using fuzzy Lyapunov function. And the objective is to reduce the, the conservative of some existing, uh, in, uh, some existing uh, results. Um, and I, I, I talk about how to reduce the, 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 the conservative of, of, uh, of uh, some existing results. The, the first one is to use, for example, to change the structure of the upon function by considering as the upon function. Another, another, uh, another way is, for example, uh, to reformulate the estimates problem by seeking an estimate that tolerates a fixed error, like this one. In, in situ to, to look for uh, asymptotic convergence, we can uh, seek an estimate that tolerates some fixed error. It is a way to reduce or seek some conservatives. Uh, in, in, in order also to overcome certain uh, restriction, certain uh, restriction or certain restrictive uh, assumption on the estimation of in known input, uh, we can use also the descriptor approach. And uh, this, uh, this approach uh, gives us some interesting results in terms of restriction of conservatism. You can, uh, uh, you can, for example, if you are interested by this approach, descriptive approach, you can you can find some uh, interesting development in this uh, in this uh, paper with uh, Professor Stephen Ding, where we consider uh, the descriptive approach for TS model uh, subject to a known uh, input, and where the, some uh, algorithms, some algorithm in linear form, some algorithm to design a known inputs are given and applied also for H minus H affinity for detection uh, filter design. There is also the problem of uh, uh, finite time estimation, where the objective is to ensure the estimation. Uh, this is the last objective: is the estimation the, to ensure the estimation of the state uh, at uh, a given time instead of an asymptotic convergence of the classical uh, method, uh, because this uh, this method, the, the, this objective. It is an important topic of uh, for real uh, real time uh, control. Okay, so the 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 this the, uh, um, uh, this point is uh, it can be seen as a, a challenging problem and uh, open problem that can be uh, can be uh, studied. But you have some results uh, uh, in this uh, reference or in others uh, where there's a different. Um, different uh, challenging problem are studied. And in an example here is an example of, uh, of, uh, of application of uh, the unknown input uh, observer. So this input of unknown input observer have been uh, applied uh, successfully in my, in my case in and in variety of application, particularly in the vehicle uh, domain by, uh, for example, by estimating uh, vehicle dynamic variables and uh, other attributes such as road uh, curvature or road bank angle estimation. Uh, 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 and uh, this, uh, this, uh, this, um, this uh, study can be found in uh, the, the, the PhD thesis in my uh, former uh, students uh, who defended this Thesis in uh, in twenty uh, in twenty twelve I think, but you can find some results in this uh, paper, vehicle system dynamic genre in twenty fifteen, where uh, some experimental validation on uh, Laguna vehicle are uh, obtained 
and publish it uh, here. Uh, this, uh, this also this observer, the you know, input uh, observer, uh, have also been applied in the field of uh, cryptography and uh, the synchronization of uh, chaos. Uh, this result can be found in this uh, collaborative paper with uh, my colleague uh, from Czech Republic, Ivan Zelinka, where we uh, compare uh, known input observer design with other approach and for a fuzzy system. Uh, and the objective is how to, uh, uh, to synchronize the, the chaos. This is another application of the known input uh, a known input observer. So uh, now uh, I, I see how we can apply uh, this type of observer in uh, in uh, in, uh, in, the, in, the, in the next uh, slides. How we can use the the, the this uh, input uh, this structure of observer this type of observer in you know, input observer in for diagnosis, and also what is the limitation of we discuss, although we give you some idea about the limitation of this type of known input, uh, this known input observer. So as you can uh, notice, all these uh, works on state and uh, also on fault estimation omit any information, omit any information on the fre frequency the domain in which external disturbances and faults evolve. Uh, all uh, these methods are intended for infinite uh, frequency domain because uh, when we analyze the, 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 the last uh, design condition, we can see that the frequency of the signal are not involved. So then these methods are for are intended are intended for uh, in infinite frequency domain, which is in some cases lead to uh, to some conservatism results uh, because we, 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 we can't uh, take into account the, the frequency of the, for example, of the inner input or the external uh, signal, uh, especially, especially when we know, when we know the frequency domain in which these input si signal evolve, as we will see in, uh, in, in, in the following. Because when we know the, 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 the frequency domain where uh, F and D here evolves, we, if, we, if we can try, if we can uh, uh, take into account the frequency domain of this, this signal in the design condition, it can be a good, uh, or a, a good way to reduce the conservatism of the design condition. So, in order to, 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 to go further and reduce the conservatism of some existing results, the idea is to incorporate the frequency range of the external signal, F and D here, uh, into the synthesis, con synthesis con condition of uh, observer or control as well. Here I consider only observer design, but this result can be also extended to Control of design. So this uh, the, 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 this uh, this uh, this part and this work is uh, was initiated in, within the, the PhD uh, thesis of my former uh, uh, PhD student uh, Shibani, uh, where we can find some uh, some uh, references and some published results of his uh, PhD uh, thesis in uh, TFS uh, 2018 or, or in Automatica 2018 also. And we have some developments for how to design uh, observer, uh, mainly observer, you know, input observer, uh, take into account the frequency of the external signal and to use the FFT uh, approach, finite, finite frequency uh, approach. So the finite as uh, is uh, mentioned here, as it is mentioned here, the finite frequency approach consists of incorporating the frequency range of the external signal. And the external signal can be, uh, in our case here, uh, can be faults, actuator faults, or sensor faults, or disturbances, external disturbances. Okay? And the objective is to design the inner input based on the, the two known signals, 
the input of the system and the output of the system. And the objective is to estimate the state if, if of the presence of the fault and disturbances, and if possible, because it is generally difficult, and how to estimate the fault, also the fault, based on this uh, unknown uh, observer. Uh, is uh, just to give you some uh, some uh, uh, some uh, some information or uh, uh, to introduce the 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 the, the, the philosophy of uh, the finite frequency domain approach. Okay, uh, and this uh, this um, uh, this uh, this approach this uh, why this approach is. Uh, is presented by uh, by this uh, slide and give you the, the, the also the the origin of this approach because this approach was applied firstly in uh, for linear system and uh, you can find some development in this uh, paper of uh, Iwasaki and Ara in uh, TAC uh, journal in 25 where the idea is how to generalize the K, uh, the, the KYP uh, lemma uh, by using unified uh, frequency uh, domain uh, um, and uh, it, it, uh, this this uh, based on this approach on this paper uh, some results are extended to nonlinear system. Um, the basic idea so the, the the basic idea of this approach in TS approach is uh, inspired by uh, this uh, work who established the equivalence because the objective of this paper and uh, the work uh, of my PhD uh, students this work who, who, um, the, the, the idea is to establish the, the equivalence between the frequency domain inequalities and linear matrix inequality for linear system. And the objective is to extend it for nonlinear system. Uh, this, this will be the objective of the next uh, slide. So it consists of considering to approach. It consists of considering three domains or uh, areas if you want. Low frequencies, middle frequencies, and high frequencies which allow to consider all possible cases so so generally when we consider this approach finite frequency domain we can uh, we can find generally uh, uh, three type of uh, design condition some design condition for low frequency domain others for middle frequency domains and other for high frequency domains okay so, but in this uh, in this uh, presentation, I limited uh, my presentation maybe in one domain or two domains, because uh, because uh, we have time to develop all uh, the design condition for all these three uh, three three do three domains. So, one may wonder about about the motivation of this approach. So we can uh, ask ourselves why. Uh, me. Yes, the motivation about the motivation of the the, the, the approach. Uh, we can ask ourselves why the why what is the motivation of this approach, uh, and uh, how this how is this approach useful beyond the theoretical aspects. Usually. We can enter it by uh, some theoretical uh, developments, but what is the uh, what is the motivation in uh, in uh, in uh, in uh, application uh, domain? The, to answer the, this question, one of the motivation is, for example, the problem of comfort comfort in the field of vehicle. Uh, indeed, since the sensitive range of the uh, human body is located in a very specific frequency band, generally between uh, 4 and uh, 8 uh, hertz. The design of observer or of the controller can be limited to this frequency uh, domain. And it is not necessary to, to, uh, to, to design the observer for uh, infinite uh, frequency domain, because uh, the comfort uh, in 
the, the comfort problem is uh, will be uh, we are interested only on the domain uh, between four hertz and eight hertz because it is the domain where we have the most sensitivity uh, range for the uh, most sensitivity uh, for uh, the human body okay and this is the, the motivation in uh, in uh, the, the motivation of uh, this approach for the finite frequency domain approach. So the objective therefore is therefore how to incorporate the frequency range of external signals into the design condition for a multi-objective uh, multi-objective problem where we are looking for an observer uh, allowing us to estimate the states and the faults okay because in this case we have uh, the problem is multi-objective the first one is how to estimate states and faults simultaneously if possible and whose residues and the objective also the, the second and the third uh, objective is how to design some uh, 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 re residue gener generator of uh, residue, residue ge generator, sensitive to fault, and robust to disturbances. So it will be the objective, the, the, the multi objective in this case. We need to estimate to, 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 to design uh, an observer uh, in finite frequency domain because we know the frequency domain of uh, the external signal F and D. And the objective is to estimate the state and fault and to, uh, to generate a uh, residual, residual signal sensitive to fault, sensitive to fault by, uh, sensitive to fault by, uh, by this uh, performance H minus and uh, and uh, if we want less sensitive or robust and uh, robust to the services by using the H affinity performance. So the objective here, if you want, is to, to minimize the parameter gamma because the objective is to, to reject the disturbance, the disturbances, and to, to, uh, to increase the parameter beta in order to, to, uh, to be more sensitive to to fault, and then we can design some algorithm for fault detection and isolation and for, for tolerance control, because it depended on the sensitivity and the robustness, the sensitivity on fault and the robustness on the disturbances. But to simplify, uh, to simplify my, uh, my presentation, because uh, I can't, uh, as I said before, I can't consider all the, 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 the three domains, uh, low domain, middle domain, and high domain. To simplify the presentation, I will not present all these uh, three cases, but uh, rather a case uh, that often arise in arises in uh, practice, uh, that is to say the case of uh, medium, uh, medium uh, frequency uh, disturbance, uh, defined here by uh, the two, fre the two uh, frequencies uh, D1 and T2 here, and uh, a low frequency of fault, where we can, where I consider that the fault is is uh, belong to to low uh, low frequency. So I consider here two cases: the case where the disturbance is, is in the middle uh, uh, range, middle domain, and the fault is low domain. But we can consider normal in general case. We can consider all the different cases for D and and F. But to simplify the presentation, I consider here only uh, these two situation to simplify uh, the the presentation and to, and to understand to understand the the, the approach. So B belong to uh, omega D one, omega D two, and uh, for the the frequency of uh, fault. Will be belong to uh, will be less than uh, omega f uh, f uh, f a. So, 
if uh, to introduce to the philosophical I give you some of the problems, but without uh, without mathematical uh, uh, development in the presentation, I give you directly the, the result. Um, because you have time to, to, do, to do that, but you can discuss about that one, or you can find it in uh, some references that I give you at the end of uh, this presentation. So for this, I introduce the Ash Infinity Performance here. It is in a uh, finite frequency domain, where I assume that the output of TS system R of T here is subject to an external signal of uh, known frequency between uh, omega d1 and omega d2, okay? The objective is how to reject the disturbance d, taking into account the frequency of the signal. So, we can find this uh, result easily. It is uh, a result extent, an extension from linear case that you can find uh, easily uh, in uh, when we consider the upon, uh, quadratic Lyapunov upon function, common Lyapunov function. Uh, this results are also extended using fuzzy Lyapunov upon function, where the results are more complicated. And uh, the ash, so the, 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 the following lemma uh, gives you the, the, the design condition to respect this constraint. So the ash affinity performance is guaranteed in the middle frequency band, uh, omega d1 and omega d2, if there exist symmetric matrices p and, uh, and q, such that the following element all. So it is only to, for, the, for the analysis, for the ash affinity performance, and we will see after how we can use this result for the, the, for the design of uh, inner input of server. The, the following uh, result also introduced the ash minus performance in order to improve the sensitivity about uh, the sensitivity on the, 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 the fault, where here also I consider that the frequency of the signal is in low domain uh, defined by uh, omega f f uh, l. So this uh, this performance called H minus performance uh, is obtained by respecting this constraint as as presented before, and the H minus performance is guaranteed also in the low frequency band if there exists. Symmetric matrices P and Q such that the following LMI hold. And you can see here that the, the, the condition, the LMI condition, depends on the, the frequency, the, 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 the frequency uh, omega FL. Uh, as before, it is dependent on for the H infinity uh, performance. It is depend the, the design, the, uh, the LMI condition are depending on the frequency of the disturbance, the, 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 the signal of uh, the signal D on omega D1 and omega D, D2 here, because omega D1, DC is depending on the omega D1 and omega D2. Okay? Um, so now uh, we will apply, we will uh, see how to apply these two LMI uh, condition. H infinity and H minus performance related to the signal L in uh, in in, uh, in the design of the inner input observer and how to to um, to to guarantee the multi objective uh, multi -obje multi objective uh, the multi multi objective on how to estimate the state and fault and get by guarantee the H minus H minus performance by increasing the parameter B and the H infinity performance by reducing the parameter uh, but, but, but parameter gamma. So you now when I consider the TS system like that, it is the same as, uh, as uh, I introduced in my uh, in the in the beginning of this presentation. We consider the same in our input observer here. Okay, for this. TS system will consider the, the following in non input uh, observer where the objective here we have multi objective because the objective is not only to estimate the state of the system but also to estimate the fault and also to uh, to, uh, to 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 um, uh, obtain uh, 
original uh, original signal, robust against disturbance, and sensitive on fault by minimizing the parameter gamma and maximizing the parameter beta. So based on all uh, the above uh, before the above condition of uh, the two slides before, we can summarize the objective as follows. For OTS uh, system subject to sensor and actuator uh, disturbances and fault, the objective is to design an observer allowing us to estimate the state and generate a residual signal, a residual signal, sensitive as possible to fault and robust as possible to disturbances. So this slide summarizes this the objective. So the objective can be summarized as also as follow, as uh, follows. Uh, here we consider the same TS model with the same uh, TS, uh, the same uh, in -on input observer. And the aim is to achieve the following constraints. For filtering error, the first one is means that for filtering error, free to disturbances and faults, the asymptotic convergence should be guaranteed. So the, it is uh, the, 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 the problem of estimation of state and fault. We consider that the system is free on fault and disturbances, and the object is to meet the state and the fault. The, for the um, for filtering error, depending on disturbances only, the second one, disturbances should be rejected as possible by minimizing the parameter gamma. And the third objective, for filtering error depending on faults only, the residual signal should be sensitive as possible on faults by maximizing the parameter beta. The objective is to obtain, for all those three cases, for this multi-objective design uh, problem, for each case, for each case, we need to obtain LMI formulation because uh, the objective is to implement these conditions easily using numerical tools. So, for the here, I gave you some basic developments just to see the idea. But after I give you directly. Uh, the, the design, uh, the LMI design condition for these two three cases. Three cases. So for TS system like that, we consider the unknown in input of server like that. And by the idea is a classical one, is a classical one by considering the error of estimation between state of the system X and the estimated state of the observer. We consider the error, and when we consider the dynamic of the error, we obtain this this result with the uh, uh, residual generator, R, R of T, depending on the error of estimation on disturbances and faults. Okay, so we can obtain this uh, this equation uh, easily. And the objective is how to design the parameter of the inner input observer N, G, N, and E in order to uh, to to guarantee the, the the convergence of the error allowing us, guaranteeing us to estimate the state and the fault, and also, also the, the sensitivity of R of T on fault by maximizing beta, and the robustness of R of T on disturbance by minimizing the parameter uh, gamma. The first objective, as you can see here, so the first objective considered here is the sensitivity to fault based on H, uh, H minus performance. Indeed, the H minus performance is guaranteed in the frequency domain omega f if the following LMIs are satisfied. We can, uh, as you can see here, we can notice the, the design condition here, given here directly. The, the the design condition are linear one because our that condition are linear and depending on the parameter beta that we need to minimize and also we can see that that depending also 
on the frequency of uh, of uh, of the force. Okay, depending on the frequency of the the force on the omega f. So I give here I give you the result directly, but it is a direct application of the h minus performance that uh, I presented before. Just here I replace the 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 the, 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 the last equation by this equation, which is depending on the gain of the observer, and by some mathematical transformation, we obtain this uh, this linear uh, LMI conditions. This LMI condition, which allow us to to, to obtain the the different gains of the, the observer, the the, uh, the variable are in the red color here, so we can see that all uh, the, the LMI condition are in linear for and depending on beta and the, also on the frequency domain of force. We can also obtain this similar result for uh, for the uh, for the case of uh, uh, for, uh, for the robustness on uh, to disturbances. And we can obtain the following uh, LMI condition, which is depending on the frequency of the disturbances. Uh, omega d1 and omega 2 and depending also on gamma and this parameter should be uh, uh, we need to minimize this parameter in order to reject the disturbances on rt as you can see here in this equation so also this equation is obtained directly from the 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 the, 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 the last uh, uh, lmi condition on uh, on uh, on H infinity uh, uh, in, uh, in the taking into account the frequency domain of the external signal. And you can see also that this result here, it depends on the frequency, the frequency domain. And the objective, as I said before, the objective is to minimize the parameter gamma to reject the disturbances uh, as uh, where here, we, the objective is to maximize the parameter beta in order to render the parameter L uh, sensitive to, to force. Okay? So the last condition that we need to guarantee is the, the convergence of the observer, the, the last one, where when the system is free on force and disturbance, we have this classical uh, re, uh, equation and this this result is a classical one. It's not uh, contribution because in this case we can see that uh, the error of estimation converge asymptotically to zero if this equation are uh, this LMI condition are uh, are satisfied, and uh, we can if we we if all there's uh, three uh, set of uh, LMI condition hold. We can guarantee that the observer, by this by this LMI condition, that the observer converge to uh, the error of image converge to uh, converge something to zero, and with the last equation, we guarantee the the sensitivity of force and also the the robustness on the uh, on the on the on the disturbances. So, consequently, here we summarize all this equation. The last three equations for these three uh, three condition one two three here for d equals zero f equals zero for d different zero and and f equals zero and for f equal different zero and d difference of zero. So to guarantee this multi-objective uh, uh, design problem, we need to to solve simultaneously. The LMI design condition for the robustness uh, case, LMI design condition for the sensitivity case, and LMI for the asymptotic stabi stability or the, con uh, the asymptotic convergence of the error of estimation. And if there's, these conditions are satisfied, then the observer parameters are given by the following equation, and we, defi the, the, we, de we define completely the observer all the way to guarantee the the, the multi-objective synthesis. Okay, so the detail of uh, this result can be found in this, for example, in this in this uh, reference. Uh, it is uh, uh, 
it's a, it's a, it's a, it gives you a more a more development and a more um, less conservative uh, result because in this paper we consider not uh, only the quadratic Lyapunov function or common Lyapunov function but also the fuzzy Lyapunov fun function uh, which give uh, give us uh, less uh, less conservative uh, less conservative result. So now. Uh, to, to give you an, an example, an, an illustrative example, before uh, finishing my uh, my presentation, uh, so I consider the following uh, TS uh, model. Uh, we consider that we have more in model that we transform it in this uh, in this uh, structure, where here we ha we have only two linear model represented here by the mat the matrices a1 a2 b1 b2 and r1 r2 and f1 f2 representing the matrix of the disturbances and the fault actator fault and sensor fault okay um so here we consider a simple example where the ts model uh, is represented by two local uh, models subject to fault and uh, disturbance disturbances uh, d and uh, we, we will consider the same uh, we will consider the same situation as before uh, regarding the, the domain of uh, frequency of fault and disturbance. For the fault, we consider that we have the following uh, fault, and uh, we need to uh, here the, the, the simulation is not given, but to compare the fi fi finite frequency domain with infinite frequency domain. Uh, I, uh, it is important to notice that using the, the infinite frequency domain, the first uh, LMI condition that I, uh, I present in the, in the beginning of this presentation, we can't find the solution. We can't find, uh, we can't design an input, a new input observer in this case, with uh, the full uh, frequency domain. If the, the frequency is not uh, known, I can't. Uh, find the solution in this case, okay? But uh, if we consider the following case, by considering a disturbance signal and fault signal with the following uh, frequency uh, domains, the disturbance belong to middle frequency and faults belong to low frequency domain. The low frequency domain is represented by omega FL equal to 0 0.3, and uh, the middle uh, frequency is represented here by omega, omega d1 and omega d2, 0 0.5 and 1. This example is just an additional example. So by by solving the last uh, three set of uh, LMI uh, conditions, and by minimizing the, the, the parameter gamma and maximizing the parameter beta, we can find the following gains of observer and one and two, L1, L2, and uh, G1, G2, and the parameter uh, E, or we would want us to design completely the, the you know, input observer, and uh, allow we want us to, 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 to reach the multi-objective uh, design problem, to, to, to solve the multi-objective design problem. And you can see here uh, some uh, simulation uh, to show this uh, this, uh, this uh, fact, the following simulation show that we can improve uh, considerably the algorithm performances and the fault diagnosis. Uh, indeed, we can see here that we can notice that the H minus uh, performance increases the sensitivity to fault of the residual signal because you can see here the, the we can uh, without using the, the H minus performance. We have uh, the residual. The, the residual is less than ten. If we want here, twenty here, but but using the the H minus performance, it means that by increasing the parameter beta, we can see that we improve. We improve the sensitivity on uh, on on fault by the maximization of the parameter uh, beta. Um, in addition, as uh, shown above, for many applications, there is uh, there is no solution if the, the, the finite frequency domain approach 
is not considered. So he's, we, not only the observer exists, the inner input observer exists because we use the finite frequency domain, but also we can improve the sensitivity to fault by maximizing the parameter beta. We can uh, do the same simulation for uh, simulation uh, regarding the, reje uh, the rejection of the disturbance by minimizing the parameter gamma. But the simulation is not given. The objective is only to show you that using this approach, finite frequency domain, we can uh, we, we, we can uh, solve a multi-objective uh, design uh, problem. Uh, with the less conservative uh, result, with less conservative design uh, design condition, some also some uh, developments can be uh, can be found in this uh, uh, journal paper, Automatic Twenty Eight, uh, which is also a collaborative paper with uh, with uh, some uh, re re researcher uh, and colleagues. Um, to finish uh, maybe my presentation, uh, I will talk about some uh, maybe some future research. Future my future our future research in uh, my laboratory and group. Uh, future research focus on more complicated knowledge systems such as multi uh, agent systems or cyber physical uh, system, and the goal is to extend these results uh, for the control uh, problem and uh, for uh, distributed fault detection and isolation and fault tolerance control. Uh, some uh, recently we have also some results on fractional order uh, system, particularly for uh, uh, descriptor fractional order system. And maybe the objective is also to extend some of these results in, uh, in this uh, domain. Uh, so, in order to take into account the complexity uh, related to cyber physical system, uh, such as uh, data transmission, sampling, etc., uh, we have developed in recent years some uh, collaboration on uh, also on event triggered control and event triggered estimation, in collaboration with uh, some uh, some uh, colleague in. Uh, in uh, other university in uh, China, Australia, or others, and uh, my PhD state students uh, work on this uh, and in, in this uh, domain. And the objective is how to design not only controller but even triggered controller uh, and even triggered estimation in uh, in a multi uh, agent uh, system framework. So. Uh, here are some uh, personal references for more detail related to this uh, talk and some uh, perspective uh, work. So thank you for your uh, attention and uh, your question and comments uh, are welcome. I am also open to discuss uh, future collaboration. Uh, for this, you can contact me uh, using this uh, email. Or, um, or also, uh, as I said uh, in the introduction, the, the first part about how to obtain the TS approach is not developed here, but in future we can uh, maybe organize another, another lecture to, uh, to present the approach, the basic, uh, basic development for how to obtain TS approach and how to obtain a, a simple controller like state feedback controller or Lindbergh observer for linear or for TS uh, approach. So thank you again for your attention.